Hi, I'm Leah Scott Price, and I am a published comic book author. Welcome to my videos where I talk about topics such as writing and self-publishing. So how did I get into comic books? My goal was to bring my characters to life. And since I already had written novels and films, so why not comic books? I'm the type of person who gets up in the morning and says, I want to do a comic book. And I do it. But first, of course, of course, I do my research, hire the right people and professionals, and I had a script writing and storyboarding background, but I didn't know how to draw. So I hired artists at first, and then eventually I learned how to draw. And comic books turned out to be my favorite project. My drawing instructor was Andrew Huerta, who worked for DC, Boom, Dynamite, entertainment and IDW. My inking instructor was Jim Higgins, who was formerly of DC Comics and Meltdown University, which was held at the former Meltdown Comics, which used to carry my comic books. Now he's with the Jim Higgins College of Comics in the Society of Illustrators of Los Angeles, so check him out. I taught myself how to color on Photoshop through YouTube videos, and my favorite medium to work with is just old school pencil, paper, and ink. I just scan and fix up and color the images. I've actually tried digital drawing, but it's not my thing. I love black and white and red, and so I use the colors for the interior of the comic books. And the reason I just use pencil and paper and ink is I kind of like the feel, the old school feel of just, you know, just drawing and getting eraser shavings all over the paper and all over my hands and graphite all over my hands. <laughs> it's kind of like, I kind of like the, the feel of it. So it's kind of, um, it, it feels raw. It feels real. It's not to say that digital drawing doesn't feel real, but it's, there's just a certain feeling I like about using just a pencil. In comic book issues one through five, there's a Sin City style because my first artist for hire, Andrew Setter, was a fan of Frank Miller. And the color was done by graphic artist Chad Hammontry. And comic book issue six was the first issue where I applied what I learned to draw uh, to my own comic book. And I did some of the pencil sketches and I hired my instructor, Andrew Huerta, to through the pencils and the inking. And I loved the way he inked the characters, so I used that inking style to make it consistent. But I also drew in my own style. So my instructor was my first influence, and I was taught the drawing style of DC and Marvel by Jim Higgins, so I was influenced by that. I hired my artist to do full cover, for a full color cover, uh, for issues one through seven, and then I did the covers for issues eight to ten in black, white, and red. And like I said, I love working by hand, the old school style. It just feels to me more fulfilling when I create something by hand, and I can feel the pencil. I can feel like I'm sculpting raw material, but with with drawing. So that's basically how I got into comic books. I wanted to bring my characters to life on paper. I wanted to see the images pop out. I wanted to tell a story uh, through graphic images. So I took lessons and I ended up publishing my own comic book. So and now I can draw. So please like and subscribe to my videos and watch my Vampire Guardian Angels films and animation and check out my work at patreon.com backslash Price, where you can actually now see me giving drawing lessons and um, you can see the progress of my art and all the um, images that I've learned to draw. Thank you for watching.